Hey everybody, good morning. Hey, good we morning. weren't here last week. Sorry about that. It was uh, it was a mess last week. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god. If if it could have went wrong last week, it went wrong. That's for sure. And, and not in a bad way. It was just everything kind of got piled. Yeah, way too much oh, stuff all at once. You had last minute stuff. I'm actually glad that you had last minute stuff because that made my last minute stuff. I'm like, oh, I'm okay now. Yeah, because it's okay. So anyway, sorry, that, we're back, everybody. All that last minute stuff becomes this minute stuff, and you know, it, it, you know isn't it time. amazing? Yeah, at least at least everything's done. Right, exactly. So I'm working off my phone, not my laptop today. I feel kind of awkward. I'm working off my 30% tablet. Oh, yeah. Come on, Apple. That's... Let's see how long you can keep this oh, up. Oh, boy. I, may have to I have... don't know. These things go all the way down to 1%. And they're like, eh, <laughs> I got the I may have to have Cage hand me the laptop sitting there. That, <laughs> that is charged, so I might better boot that uh, up real quick. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's it's been... It's been a weird couple of weeks for tech. Yeah, yeah. Apple's been, you know, talking to some stuff, so, you know, and they just, you know, the the WD WDC the conference of you know software conference that they just had. Um, they uh, they were talking a bunch of bunch of stuff, a lot of new features coming out in the Apple yeah. world, and uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty interesting. You but know. you know, I know one of the stories that we're going to talk about is you know Apple's kind of losing its way. I don't know, and and you know it's it's funny, you know, especially I, I, in the phone world. In the phone, well, you know, there's some pretty cool stuff. I, I just saw you having to look at your phone and and yep. and read something, and um, I I know they have some pretty cool features in the software right. world. Right, that's going to be pretty pretty cool. That's going to help out. Yeah. Um. So we'll see we'll see what happens. But there. technology wise, technology wise, they're, they're not keeping up. I don't know. It's it's kind of, you know, it's it's kind of like I don't know if they're keeping up or trying to um, trying to get a one up. Well, let me tell you, my sister bought has one of the new Google Picks, right? Mm-hmm. Phones, and she took a picture at the house the other day of a little cardinal that was probably sixty feet away, and I took a picture. Hers made mine look. Like crap. Well, don't say that, John. I'm just telling you, dude. You're just all the Apple fanboys are going to start crying. I know. And they're going to back. Oh, I'm I, I'm crying because I'm sitting here going, <laughs> no. "Oh my God, <laughs> you're not crying." I'm crying. I'm, I'm an Apple. I'm an iPhone guy, and yeah. I and I preach iPhone. Yeah, which I spent iPhone. on my phone. But my God, the picture quality from that distance, yeah, is amazing. Well, remember the 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 upgrade this year, technically. Um, technically, the 14 did use a processor that was part of the year before, and unless you went to the pros, it didn't. Um, it didn't. They didn't That's have, all I use is the pros. Yeah, they didn't. Um, they didn't. Oh. They gave you an upgraded. Hey, processor. hold on a second. Take that back. That's dead. Um, they, they didn't upgrade the processor. Well, they they in the pros they did. They say they did personally. I, I really think they just kind of overclocked what they currently had. Uh, because, you know, see, if, if we're shortcuts will the, kill you. Yeah, see, I mean, if we are in the, we supposedly had the pro, because that thing was the A15 or something. Right. They reused, and then we were supposed to get the A16. Right. Um, but, now, that'll be this year. Yeah, so so if they're going to keep doing that kind of little play on, on processors. They're going to get their asses handed to them. Which, which means that they're going to advance that A16 with more instructions and faster code, right? When the the iPhone 15 comes out, but does that mean that ours is going to benefit, or is ours really a 16 and not a a 15 15 overclocked or overclocked? Yeah, so I'm kind of I'm kind of concerned about what they're doing, at least with their you know their reuse of their SoCal's their their processors that they build in house, which would they need to stop? Because I'm telling you, these little I mean, dude, I had I saw a video from a what is it one of the new the one of the new Samsungs. Amazing. Well, you know, amazing. I'm telling you though that the M2s that they just came out with, look, they've put this chip in everything. All right. This thing is I'll upgrade this year. I didn't I I skipped the 14. I would say watch that the iPhones Start losing the you know the A15, A16, and that this M series chips, even though it's it works for you know um, the computer mm-hmm. because it's already it's already made its way into the iPad, 
And it's already made its way into a new device that Apple just been talking about. What new device? Oh. Are we going to, are we, is this in our list to talk about today? Yes. Oh, well, let's just jump in the first thing here. I, I wanted to, I'm not sure. I think you put this in here yeah, about I did. Uh, I did. Zuckerberg, what he thinks about the new uh, Apple Pro Vision Pro. Vision Pro. That's what we're talking about. That, the Vision that, Pro. The Vision Pro. Apple Vision Hey, look at how happy he is. Yeah, that, that's not the device. That's no, the device. I know it's yeah. not the device. <laughs> he, he looks like a total geek, and he kind of scares me. He, but anyways. He's a lizard man. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> right? <laughs> that's exactly what he is. So um, the, the Vision Pro, believe it or not, is running an, an M2 processor, oh, John. Is it really? It is running the same processor that's in the iMacs. It's in the uh, Mac Minis. Uh, I believe it's in the in pros because the pros run like an M M two X series, right. and that it's uh, that particular processor has made its way into these glasses, and they have two two processors now. They'll have the M two for its you know main processing, and then they have a reality type pro or processing that that right. processes you know the the AR features and functions of the uh, of the device. As a matter of fact, it processes all the inputs coming in from all the sensors so that way the main processing unit can can do what it's supposed to do and overlay the visuals things like that right 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 so they have a whole separate processor that takes all those video signals coming in everything and just you know fixes uh you know makes it makes it look better so we can go it, it, it actually makes it where it looks deeper than it actually really correct. is correct and and i think what zuckerberg's saying here is you know he 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 admits he admits this this is this is going to be the future of you know w- what AR virtual reality should be the the quality of the lenses okay right the the depth of field the the just the whole integration that kind of stuff yes he he's got every, he got to understand you know he may not be worried but Apple's a hardware company this is what they're good at. Right, they can they make the best of the best, and that's yeah. what they've just produced. And the thing is, a lot of people are like, "Oh my God, look at the price!" This is the first version, okay? Yeah, this is really truly not consumer based, okay? Yes, you can buy it, but if you looked at what they were showing you, yeah, they were showing more work related and things like that. It was more it. for the pro side, right? And as a matter of fact, what everybody doesn't realize is something that Microsoft is already selling that really they don't talk about to the public, unlike Apple, Mm -hmm. which is their HoloLens. Right. The HoloLens is based at the same price. As a matter of fact, there's only a $50 price difference between the two devices. So in the HoloLens world, you have the option for an enterprise version. Mm -hmm. They have another version that can be used in, um, you know, like... Uh, uh, high chemical right. world, and then they have another one that has an integrated hard hat for construction. So Hollow, Microsoft's already doing this, and those devices go all the way up to forty five hundred five thousand dollars. Right, right. So this is something that Microsoft is already doing, and has already captured that that business side, yeah. the corporate side, and that's what Apple's getting in on. Well, see, so back in the day, you know, one when when we were all uh, Final Cut, right. right. We were, you know, editing side that that side of it. It seemed like Apple made the shift to go to the more pro side, mm-hmm. um, and it was great that they had consumers buying the, you know, the right, Macs right. and you know the Apple Twos and all that kind of stuff, and getting into the iPhones. But in, for a long time there, it was like Apple was known to be for the pros, the right. pro side, the you know, not the consumers. The consumers used them, but you know. If you could sit there and afford a, I mean, I remember back in the day where we had four editing machines sitting inside our studio. I mean, that was almost twenty thousand dollars. Correct. Yeah, sitting there, and for you, for a consumer to say, "Yeah, I've got a pro editing machine at home," and blah blah blah, people are like, "Well, damn, you got money," or "Damn, you must be a pro," right? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, that shift came along where they started throwing it. It went more to consumer side. Yeah. And then the pro, like the us pro guys, we just started seeing crappier software. Cause like when, like when we, when Final Cut 7 Pro stopped and they went to that new X or the 10 mm-hmm. and it was nothing but 
iMovie on, on you know with some steroids to it. Right. They lost me because now every goober out there could go by, and I don't mean to be mean about it. I'm just being flat out honest. Every goober went out there and bought Final Cut 10 and a crappy ass Intel system, and now they're editors. Well, yeah. Right. No. Just and think of it this way. Just it's, turned into crap. It's so easy now that they, they have their own ship. Okay. Yeah. So it's easy to put it across the board and, and limit its its capabilities because they control yep. the coding. Yeah. So they don't have to go out and buy an i9 or Xenon mm-hmm. to put it in a Pro, mm-hmm. which is going to be way up here in price. You know what I mean? Their price point that they have to build this machine mm-hmm. is technically on the processing side. It's going to be the same across the board. Right. So all they have to do is throw in a couple extra chips or, you know, overclock this device. Right, right, right. Exactly. And they call it the a you know the M2X, right. you know, and extreme. And then they throw in more RAM and they tweak it out. As a matter of fact, I just saw something that I, I was just looking and had PCI Express slots on an M2 board. There was a new Pro. Really? Yes. That's now, why would they... Why would they do that? They did that. They do that for the professionals. And hmm. it looks like, like what you were just saying, it looks like they're starting to focus a little bit more on the professional side again and give them the, well, the, the, the give them what they've been looking for. It, it's about time. Yeah. Because and it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a real interesting, you know, and, and again, with the vision pro coming out, yep. um, I think that is, you know, that's, that's why Zuckerberg's not worried. They're like, Oh, you know, it's, it's geared towards, you know, commercial right. stuff. And all they have to figure out is how Apple do, did it. You know, they're probably Apple released so many patents mm-hmm. to this product before yep. releasing it. Before it even released that Zuckerberg it. is not going to be able to reverse engineer it nope. without stepping on some toes. That's correct. So there, there's, they did that on purpose. That's, uh, that's and, I, and I'm telling you, that's why I like seeing that all the, and I'm sticking with Apple. I mean, I, I mean, they can't, yeah, yeah. I love Apple. Unfortunately, Apple does not do what we need it to do for when it comes to live streaming. Um, and there's workarounds for your for your apples, but it cannot touch what and I, I, I'll tell our, you. our our system does. I'll so you, you know, the, but for editing, I wouldn't mind going back to it. Well, you know, the cool thing is, like on this device, they have an eyesight camera on the front. Mm-hmm. You literally to hold it up to your face, and it takes a scan of your face and creates a living avatar of your face. Yep. So when you put the goggles back on. Okay. Now people see you. They see you, a virtualized version version of you. That when you're in a FaceTime call, mm-hmm. they can still see you. Right. Which I mean, there's a now, lot. Now does it mimic the mouth and the yes. eye? all that, that hand is... movement? So so does that see? Cause, so it's got the it's got the outside, but it, so it actually is reading your face. The your... Uh, the, the cameras on the inside. Oh. They they can track your retinas. That's how you make the movements when whatever you focus on. That's how it knows what icon to go ahead and, and select. Okay, I'm scared to ask how much. $3,500, oh, man. Oh, only $3,500. Yeah, $3,495. Oh, my. What? Look, don't, don't get me wrong. This is going to be the first version. This is going to be the pro. This is going to have all the bells and whistles. Yeah. They'll, they'll tone it down right. when they figure out what sensors they can eliminate, what sensors they need to keep right. when they make it better. Kind of like how Tesla did and decided to, you know, yeah, I know. Tone it down. Well, that's that's how uh, that's how Apple's going to be. So uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, I don't know if you watched the <sighs> rest of the uh, the rest of it. I did not get. I I you know what? I have it on. I have it bookmarked on my. You, you need to watch it because I, my uh, Apple TV. I iOS seventeen adds a feature which is really cool. Imagine sitting there. You're in your Monday meeting. You're waiting, and you get a phone call. You don't know how important it is. You don't want to answer it because you're in a meeting. You want to be polite and Mm -hmm. do what you're supposed to do, but at the same time, you want to send it the voicemail. So you don't, not exactly sure, but you don't want to wait until the voicemail comes all the way in and takes a while. Yep. Get this. As the person goes to voicemail and starts leaving the voicemail, it starts transcribing it immediately right there. So you can be like, hey, John. This is Tom. I need to speak to you immediately about that, you know, job that we're doing. And you'll be like, oh, you know, I got to go. Got to go. Or you can know when you're going to just ignore it. So that I thought was So it's live transcribed. Live transcribed. So not not wait, figure out what it is. So it's either either, either AT&T is having major issues 
or my iPhones having major issues because when people leave voicemails, it's a. I think that's AT and T. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> horrible. AT and T, you need to fix that crap. Oh, I'm just gosh. saying right now. Um, so let's let's let's. Well, as much as I'd love to sit and talk about, um, you know, um, so Bing. Oh, don't, don't even, yeah, yeah. Right. Microsoft adds AI voice chats to Bing desktop. So you can actually talk to Bing on your desktop now. Yes, as a matter of fact. Is, is it taking the place of Cortana in a way? <laughs> no, it's just that they're, they wanna, they're, they're integrating it into Bing to try to get more different search results and stuff like that mm. and kind of give you, think that they're giving you information. They're, they're, trying to, they're trying to feed it information to grow it by integrating it into all of its systems. You but know does it mean? talk back? Uh, because I, I, I don't use. I don't Bing. think it really. It doesn't talk back. I but, think it's. But just it can. More, it, it's just it's live search results. Time. Okay. Yeah. It's live search results are going to be AI driven. Right. Um, the the thing that I don't like about it, like right now, uh, Microsoft is like so. It, it's just like as Chat GPT hit the fourth version, you, you you see Microsoft like it's in everything. You know, it's just that fast. And I don't think that's 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 very good. Right. No no real testing, real world. They just want to feed it data. That's all they're doing. So are they gonna do the same thing on for the people that use Cortana on their PCs? Is Cortana gonna become I think GPT they're gonna use AI? Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt that they use um the the AI chat feature right. to help drive results for Cortana and other other chat enabled devices. Uh, the thing is it's just it's just really annoying. Like when you when you launch when you launch uh, Edge right now, mm -hmm. a lot of times it'll automatically after you close it, it it puts a a desktop search right on your desktop immediately. Really? Yeah. Back in the day, there was like a, there was a, um, a malware. I think it's like uh, it was kind of like search the web type thing. Right. It would just like put a bar on your desktop. Yes, I do remember that, and that was aggravating. And very aggravating, right? Right. Microsoft's like, hey, it worked for them. We should do it too. <laughs> <laughs> God. I mean, there's a you know you can turn it off. I mean, that just option. makes you scratch your head. And go why? Why? Yeah. I mean, we, we didn't like it before. Why do we like it now? Why do we like it because you're Microsoft and you did it versus you know some third party? You know, you don't learn. I mean, come on. And of course, there's going to be people who don't know what happened. Yep. You know, it just it just all just randomly showed up there. You know, and it yeah. didn't. You know, Microsoft gave you an option, but people click, 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 and it just don't want pays attention. Yeah. So I don't really like this AI thing being you know thrown around and and pushed. Right. Um. As a matter of fact, there was an issue with uh, an AI. Um, program just recently that was for uh i'm trying to oh people with eating disorders oh geez so they they added a they have a basically during the pandemic mm -hmm. everybody went virtual so their their phone calls phone system got blown up right okay and now that we're we're out of the pandemic and everything you know they wanted to add an ai driven you know query where they could just you know talk to it mm -hmm. and it would give you know Things to to help get that person with a dis eating disorder, you know, calm down, relax, you know, right. not not. And um, they had hired a whole bunch of professionals to go through and get the responses from the AI and really, really tweak it so it not to give answers that would be problematic for somebody with these kind right. of disorders. And it was working fine. Well, the company that um, runs the AI said, "Oh." We're going to add these new search queries, these more in-depth search queries into into it. Whoa! Okay. So what happened is, is all the work that they paid these doctors and and these psychologists mm -hmm. and everything to go in there and tweak it out. Right. Boop, gone. gone. So now all it's telling them is, well, if you have an eating disorder, eat right, eat more vegetables, watch your calories. Started talking like Weight Watchers because it's yeah. got dry. dry. Yep. And they're now they're suing the software company because the software company, like, you know, just turned on, oh, well, it was a new feature that we had to add, you know. Well, now now, now this AI bot's telling people that you're fat and you need to go ahead and lose weight. Well, that's kind of de God. defeats the purpose when you have somebody with an eating, eating disorder. Eating disorder, correct. <laughs> yeah. So... You know, stop eating the candy bars. And yeah, so these, these are some crazy things. So I'm, I'm telling you... You gotta be worried. AI is out there, and it's 
I'm gonna. If it sounds stupid, it's probably AI. <laughs> Or, or you got somebody stupid. Or if it's an awesome video with three legs at the bottom yeah, and the faces right. don't look right as it turns, that's AI. That's AI, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm telling you right now? Uh, so let's talk about Microsoft real quick. Um, oh, yeah. Stay on the $20 million fine over Xbox child account data collection practices. Interesting, isn't it? Wow. Well, I mean, come on. It's Xbox. And, of course, there's going to be kids under the age of 13 playing it. That say they're 16 or oh, say they're course, 18. Of course. But how would you... How would you create an account, you know? You, you have to have an, a Microsoft account yep. or an account on the Xbox to play it. Yep. And so this is this is interesting. You know, you, you're you're geared towards kids. Yep. But you want need that information to know what games the kids want to play. Yep. yep, exactly. So and you need to know what you know add-ons to throw at them so they can go bug their parents for you know money money and microsoft yeah, bucks can and i stuff, have some yeah. microsoft dollars yeah. please i want to get this new skin for my character it's only 20 bucks only 20 dollars <laughs> he something gets, that you can't hold touch i, I know it kills me nfts you remember yep these people went hog wild i got an nft of a duck it's worth 50 grand and how much Dang. you pay for that Oh, $20. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And those things, they went big for a while. They People did. made some money and bam. You don't yeah. own it, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You don't. You, what are you going to do with it? Now, okay. So when you bought the, okay, I'm glad you, I'm glad you brought this up. So when you buy this artwork, <laughs> yeah, do you, do artwork, you, artwork, that's exactly what it is. Do you, you don't get a print. You don't get a, <laughs> now supposedly. Is it a you, signed copy? <laughs> Okay, right. right. So, and, and, and how many times did they sell this piece of artwork? Exactly. Supposedly, it was a one-off. You, you're the one who bought Yeah. So, do you have your own digital gallery? No, John. Where, John, copy, paste. Copy, paste. Right. <laughs> Just change the meta information. <laughs> I mean, to me, it's like... Signed by Van Gogh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. So, I don't yeah, and, and these people making these virtual, you know, um, houses and virtual clothing, and it's all this stuff being sold. And it's just like, it just as quick I, as, I bought real estate. Really, where? Oh, it was NFT. Really? So, yeah. where's it at? How do you get to it? Yeah. Can you go camp on it? <laughs> oh, you can't. Oh, oh, you can virtually camp on it. You can go look at it. That's awesome. So, you know, while you're in your mom's basement. Yeah, exactly. So, like, you know, you see how Microsoft, uh, we were just on a mm -hmm. with Microsoft and Xbox, right? Um, just a little FYI, you know, new Samsung TVs. I'm going to tell you, they got this cool gaming hub built into them on oh, the 2023s, boy. right? Really? They have an Xbox app that uses their streaming service. So, if you have a Microsoft account already and you have their gaming mm -hmm. Game Pass, mm -hmm. dude, you don't need an Xbox. You sign in. Well, how do you play it with the TV? I did. I did, John. Did you I use your my Xbox controller to the TV? Oh. Get this. Get this. There's no lag? In. Dude, I was playing Mortal Kombat 11 last night, and I'm oh. like, dude, this thing's keeping up good. Wow. And they even asked, how did you like it? And how was the service? Was it laggy? I'm like, no, it was gone. It was like, wow. So there wasn't no lag? No. Because that's IR. No, it Bluetooth to the controller. Okay, the control, the the new the Xbox One and and up, you know the new Xboxes. Yeah. They they'll have they have Bluetooth controllers. Uh, so uh, yeah, you just synced it to the TV. I can't believe there's no lag. Had though. the same dash, almost the same dashboard as regular Microsoft. I could pull up your friends list. You can do chat. You can do everything. Really? Yes. So how much is a new Samsung TV? Just buy. Oh, we just I got an 85 inch for 1200. What? Yeah. That's awesome. Dude, 85, 85 inch. inches. You know, yes. was, you know what I was like putting on the wall? Oh, my God. <clears throat> and how much does that weigh? Like 10 pounds? Oh, dude, no. It was uh, 88 pounds or something. 88 like that. pounds. Something That's like probably that. the heaviest TV I've heard so yeah, far. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm used to 65s. I can one man. Yeah. You know, I can I can hang it myself. I don't like to, but yeah, I can do it. Yeah. But, dude, um, 85 inches, that was, that was almost two to three guys because I needed... One on each end. Right. I need another one to make sure they were watching in the back where it was to hooking get, on. Yeah, to get the hook on. Because you know you're you're looking for a mile around. You know, yeah. looking at the back of the TV. But I'll tell you, dude, 
I'm telling you, it had the Smart Things Hub built into it. Okay. Okay. It has uh, uh, an app driven, like I can sync my. If my TV doesn't have, my computer doesn't have Miracast, right? I, I can automatically still sync and connect to my desktop. They have a little app you download, and no their way. own custom app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can just pull your TV right, your computer right over. Sweet. Hook up your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse right to the TV, or use the USB dongle. Yeah, yeah. And you can then KV, KVM your keyboard and mouse right to your computer and use it. Dude, it's awesome. Well, we kind of, we kind of already our next one on here is the Apple versus Microsoft Vision. And that, we, yeah, that's we kind of kinda, we kind of talked we hit about on we that. touched on that a little yeah, bit. So, but so but I have a picture of both. Yeah, so, so I want to show the picture. Yeah, because show the picture. It, it's ooh, <sighs> the so, top, that's sleek, man. The top one is sleek, but I'll tell you, it's nowhere. It's it's not. It's integration. It's Windows, and Microsoft doesn't make things no. that. Yeah, this is this is Microsoft. Now what is okay? The bottom one is the Apple. Yes. What is the what is the is that oh that power? is that is a battery. So you have to have that connected to you. Yes, I will uh. consider that this is a big design flaw. Mm. Uh, personally, I think that um, I don't know if the Microsoft one has to be plugged in all the time. Uh, I don't believe the Microsoft one has a battery. You would think that they would take that cable and go around to a uh, 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 like a drop down on the back of the headband. Well, so it's not dangling off the side of you. I know Apple. That's poor design. Apple's right there. yeah. Well, you know what? As a matter of fact, any Apple, the first generation of Apple devices, typically they usually are typically are harder to work on. They're usually you right. usually find you know things that are not as easily to, yeah, to deal with. Yeah, I, I don't like the. I don't like. I, I don't like. I I would say that that was one of my drawbacks is being tethered like that. Yeah. And okay. Thirty-five hundred with a two-hour battery life, John. All day you can play on it if it's plugged in. Right. It will plug in to the wall, USB-C. Right. But I see a, a, a route of failure on that cable. There's mm -hmm. going to be right there at that the little, little connection connector. Right. There, there's going to be chafing. I don't know if that pops off and can be changed, but I will tell you if that's permanently made on there. You're going to be running into problems. Yeah. Yes. And um, but two-hour battery life. The thing is, is if the unit itself has its own integrated battery that can keep the unit charged for 35 seconds or you know at least three minutes, and it can power off of, so you can have enough time to change batteries. Mm -hmm. Now that would be cool because that would you could be buy cool. a couple battery packs. Yeah, yeah. Boom, boom. You know, right. keep going. You know, and nothing wrong with the battery packs being back on the, on the back they, of the headset, they, or the, back, the back of the wrap. They did it because they wanted people to show that people would be able to wear this thing all day. John, one, in those goggles, okay, mm -hmm. when you walk up to the person, the glasses mm -hmm. will know you're there, and they will sh basically delaminate and mm -hmm. show your eyes underneath. Really? So you'll be able to see people, and they will see you. Whoa! So that's that's and, and, and they will. That's kind of cool. That is cool because one of the the bad things is with you know VR and stuff is yeah. when you're when you're in it, you're like nobody else matters. Yep. You know what I mean? So that's what uh that's one of the main main situations. So they they made this for you to work and live in real life. And be able to interact while you have them on. Right, exactly. All right, well, okay. That's kind of cool. So this next story, who did not know? You know, everybody was predicting Netflix to not do well when they started charging for the extra, you know, yeah, extra right? users. Yep. Now, to me, there was two ways this could be handled. A, the person using your account can pay you the $8.00. You take that and pay the extra, so the other person's getting it for an, a cheaper cost, mm -hmm. um, or the person using it is going to have to suck it up and buy your own, buy their own. Right. It's and I don't think I think everybody underestimated how many people were going to sign up. I knew that when you got in there and you really did like Netflix and you mm -hmm. and you started using it a lot, that you're going to go okay, um, okay, I'll get my own. 
Right. I knew people would get their own. I think people will get away with what they can get away as long mm-hmm. as they can. But when it finally hit the fan going, oh, well, you know, maybe I'll get my own now. They just went and got their own. Yeah. It's not that expensive. No. It no. really is and, and, and again, you know, you, they, they saw this uptick in people. Because you know what? Yeah. A lot of people that were, you know, using it and sharing the password out, yep. you know, they already knew what they had. They knew the value. Oh, yeah. But the people that were borrowing it, you know, they, they, had, no they, they had no idea right. until it's gone. Yep. And when it's gone, and when, you know, when I, like, if I'm sharing, was sharing a password, I would be the first to be like, sorry, I can't, you know, I can't do anything I, about it. I didn't share it, but this is what I worry about is because we, you, I use my account on everything. So as long as they're not going to hit me for me using it on all these different locations, because I travel a lot and it's on my phone, it's on my iPads, it's on both of my iPads. It's on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have to let no 12, 12 TVs that we use them on, depending on where I'm at. Right. Whether I'm in Georgia or I'm down here or I'm on, you know, I'm on a set somewhere or I'm somewhere where, you know, I want to watch TV. So I, I turn that TV on and I go to my Netflix. The only time it's really going to, the only time that all this gets out of, gets out of hand is if you start having Netflix, Amazon, Paramount, Hulu, Disney, um, and, you know, that's when it starts going, okay, eventually I've got to stop somewhere. But you know what? You can't get, like, Netflix does no live TV. Right. Right. So I still keep my um, Amazon and all that kind of stuff. So that way I have the ability to be able to watch, like, live TV. Right. So we set up a a booth over at the Oldsmar Flea Market so we can sell some of the overflow from the house and overflow from the old studio. And but I wanted to watch the ball game, so I had to go to ESPN Plus, right? Which I've got through Disney. Mm-hmm. So I want to be able to watch that stuff um, because uh, I try to. Bright House, I mean, um, Spectrum really needs to work on getting their app on everybody. I still had because I still have Spectrum at home. Spectrum app, as far as a TV app is concerned, it's pretty good. It's it is pretty good. Yeah. Um, but remember, it just doesn't work on. Everybody. I know. And you know the like thing. Like if you have a Vizio, forget it. Yeah. Remember when um Sling TV came out? Yeah. You know how many times that thing crashed? Um, it had the kind of the same concept in a way. Mm-hmm. It had the guide, you know, and all that stuff, but it crashed and broke. Yeah. And Tubi is really good. Yeah. Yeah. I've I've used it. Um as a matter of fact, I've reached out to Tubi to get a channel for Area 52 on there. And so they, they responded, said, hey, yeah, you know, let's send me all the information from you guys. Because even if it's, even if I'm up on the higher, higher channels, at least I'm on there because Tubi is free, mm-hmm. truly free. But you're going to watch commercials and all that kind of stuff, which I really don't care about. the com- I, com- I Actually, I enjoy some because I make fun of people. I'm like, I know who made that commercial. Exactly. You know, or, you know, why did they make that commercial? That's mm-hmm. the dumbest thing I've <laughs> ever seen in my life. Why would you do that? That does literally like... Um, Guardians, or no, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a, uh, one of the medicines I actually take. I'm like, that is one of the dumbest commercials I have ever seen. But anyway, um, but I mean, it's I, in a way, I think it's a good thing for Netflix, you know. Yep. Um, yeah, but it upticked. No one, no one knew. Everybody's like, oh well, we didn't know it was going to do that well. I'm like, well, yeah, yeah, you yeah. should have known it was going to do that well because people were really watching. You know what? I think I think they should put an option in there to add the IP addresses that you would be streaming from. Yes. So that way you could say, okay. But that's going to change if you're using periodically. You like, know, like TV is like with our TVs that I use, depending on like what. What I'm so, using. You ready for whether this, John? Whether it's my phone or whether it's here's a, a little trick for you. Mm. If you're using Spectrum, for instance, and if you decide to use your own router mm. and not theirs, mm-hmm. they do. The, you, every home user has a dynamic IP yes. address. But I will tell you, from experience, and even I have a dynamic one at, at the shop, that if you take your router and connect it to their modem and get rid of their router. You will then have a static IP address. They will latch it and lock it in to that particular router. And until that router's MAC address changes, mm-hmm. your IP will not change. I would love to be able to. So when we we take the RV, right? And so I I have Apple TVs on all the because my it's a, it's 
the TVs that are in the that are in the coach are still the big boys, and they all they're all you know they all weigh too much, and they're not smart TVs. Which I've got to start slowly switching those those things out. So I have an Apple TV on there. Well, if I go anywhere near Orlando, I can't get Tampa Bay, I can't get Fox here. I get the Good Day Fox over there, which I don't like. I wish there's got to be a way to trick that where it sticks to where. Instead of geolocating me, it just sticks to this IP address. Exactly, exactly. So I, I, I think there's going to be, you know, later on down the road as they try to figure out how they're going to limit people, mm-hmm. um, they're going to have to do something like that. Because, no, you know, I don't use my Netflix just at home. Mm-hmm. You know, obviously, if I have a, you know, an IPv6 address that shows to a mobile phone, then, you know, obviously let it. If it's a mobile device and we're connecting on mm-hmm. mobile. But if it's, you know, a regular tv or something like that and it's a new ips mm-hmm. uh, uh, ip address that pops in right you know then i could see you know hey you know are you streaming you know are you streaming because we're going to disconnect you from this other ip right you know what i mean yep you know obviously you're not at home so you can't be in two places at once you know yeah that, that would make sense but we'll so the, this you know you put this thing in here about tesla owner says tesla owners say tesla unplugged their radar sensors to fulfill elon musk camera only approach i'm I'm lost on this because I know right now okay. um, Tesla is having all kind of issues where they're self-driving. You know, <laughs> they did a story on it this morning on both Foxes and about all the crashes that are happening. What had happened is um, at when they started building the car, they wanted to make it cheaper. Okay. Uh, yeah, on. that's what we want. Self-driving, right, so, cheaper uh, car. So Elon started saying, okay, we're going to focus on cameras versus radar okay personally i think radar yeah wouldn't is the radar better be than better? visual yes because you know what the cameras are going to get sun infrared mm-hmm. things like that are going to cause the cameras to freak the hell out yep it's reflections from cars uh, um, focusing issues yeah focusing issues that there takes time mm-hmm. so what <laughs> it takes a time. It, it takes, takes a time. time. Uh, so <laughs> the um, the issue is Elon at the beginning were making vehicles with cameras and radar, lidar, right. basically. Kind yeah, of lidar, lidar. Yeah. And so that that radar was able to, you know, map out no matter day or night. You know, it didn't have a problem. You know, it saw everything. Then the cameras, you know, or they, they're like, oh, well, you know what? We have the cameras recording already. We might as well try to add, add software and process that imagery. So what they did is they started making the cars without the, the radar to cut down on cost. Right. Hence the problem. Cars that were produced with the radar have it. And those owners like having it. But Tesla push an update to the cars that say mm. all cars have cameras now and shut down the radars. <laughs> Instead of supporting them, God. they've turned off the feature that was one of the main reasons why somebody may have bought that car. So that's what they're upset about. Now, I think that's, that's, that's wrong. That that's wrong. Look, it, yeah. If I bought a, if I bought a vehicle and I like that feature that I bought, I don't want that turned off. Right. So they they turned off the radar feature for Well, it self- would and I, and I read it was turning itself back on. The computer itself would the computer system even if the owners can skirt the deactivation process during a service, their vehicles will receive an over over the air update that you will bypass the radar system. Yep. And then then a few of them noticed that their vehicles radar system hadn't been used in a while so it might be silly, but then all of a sudden it started turning itself back on. Yeah, and, and again, because the software, the new software is not written for the radar, that mm. input is it throwing things off, you right? Know? Or, or is the computer not processing it because the software right. is no longer there? So you know that's that's wrong. You know, it's it's like making your car. Okay, we already have tablets that go obsolete. We have phones that go obsolete. We have so many different devices that go obsolete. We don't need a fifty thousand dollar, forty thousand dollar car going obsolete, right? Because of a software update. Right, you know, I mean that's that's a big investment. That's huge. Yes. So Rude. I mean that's massive. Let's, let's not let's not play the throwaway game. You know, we 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 can't just dispose of a car just because you know you want to push an over the air update and turn off every feature that we loved about the vehicle. I think it's wrong. I don't know about you. I, I just I, 
If I buy it with that feature, I want that feature to work. Exactly. And if you take and, away, and give me the option. And if you take away that feature, you better give me the ten thousand dollars that it costs to have that feature. Exactly. Installed. I paid extra for that. Exactly. You know. And I, I could see a class action on that. I didn't. Yeah. You know, so. And you know it sucks. But so we're gonna jump back on beating up Microsoft. <laughs> Sorry. This was, one is scary, John. Right. This one bothered me. So Hold Security out of Milwaukee says that Microsoft misused its collection of more than 360 million logins and passwords. Okay. So now now Microsoft's being ser- being sued by Hold Security. So think of it this way, John. That this this company is like an MSP, an IT security company. Yep. They found a batch of passwords, huge, vast batch of passwords compromised on the web. Right. They said to Mike, they, now they, they, they had a partnership with Microsoft. Right. Obviously they do because right, that's right. what, you know, they use MSP services. They, they probably use three, six, five and all these wonderful services. Yep. Um, and thinking Microsoft is, uh, these big conglomerates are the good guys. Right. So they, they give them their passwords and say, look, you know, anything that is related to Microsoft services, because Microsoft has, you know, the Azure cloud features and all the, you know, all, all the, um, domains mm-hmm. and everything that are in the cloud right now. And, and all, all the servers running out there that, are you know been switched up from right. on premises to off? Yep. They said, "Look, scour through the through through the passwords. You find a, a relation to one of yours. You know, go ahead and you you know contact your your company that you know hosts with you. Tell them about it. Tell them about security risks and stuff like that, and get these things changed. Okay. Right. Good. Good idea. Right. Mm. It it's it keeps Microsoft safe. It right. Keeps, it keeps their end users safe. Things like that." The rest of the users were supposed to be hands off. Right. This IT company, this secu- my, the securities company, can go then reach out to them and say, "Hey, look, we found your information in, in a trove of inf- uh, out there in, in the wild. You know, would you like to hire us to take care of your systems and lock you down properly? Yes or no? Okay. Microsoft's like, hmm. Why don't we just do that? <laughs> We have all these passwords. So they went around reaching out to all these companies and all these high-end uh, conglomerates that were out there, not realizing their stuff was you know, at risk. Yep. And they started trying to sell Microsoft services to them. Kind of bypassing. Directly, bypassing the, the company that did all the work. Did all the work. That handed the stuff over to them. Yep. And it was supposed to be in, in their, their documentation stating that Microsoft, you're only supposed to deal with your Microsoft stuff. Right. And Microsoft even tried to, like, you know, kind of hush this down and say, right. hey, hey, look, you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, this is, you're just as bad as the bad actors for doing this. Yep. Okay? That, that's wrong. And not only that, they took those same passwords and then integrated them into Edge. So you know what that means. Mm. When you went to your LinkedIn account or you went somewhere and typed in the GitHub password. and all that kind of stuff. Right. And they said, this combination has been found here. Right. They weren't supposed to do that. Jeez. They were not supposed to do that. And so they're, they're being sued. They're being sued. Microsoft, you know, didn't didn't find this. You know, these these browsers don't find this information randomly. No. It, it, you know, these these are researchers who do work. And go out there and find this information yep. and, and try to do it for the good of the public and and try to help out. And, and then you got these big companies taking advantage of it. Right. And, and it's it's very it's very sad. So Microsoft's being sued once again. So not to beat up Apple again, but their <laughs> iPhone sales were horrible in May. Well, you know, I think everybody's gotten most of their devices. I so, mean, so but uh, but is now everybody going? Eh, we're gonna wait till October. It's 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 a vicious cycle. You might as well. <laughs> I mean, it, I am. It's, it's May now. You yeah. know, I I got a I got the fourteen. You know, uh, the last time I switched out, I waited two generations. I'm yeah. I, I did not go to fourteen, so I will go the fifteen. Right. So um, we'll see what happens. But again, this is too soon to tell because, you know, when you're getting so close to Apple releasing the next product, right? They're not, people are not going to go out. I mean, why would you? Apple's a hardware company. You know, if, you, if you're the hardware that you have can last you a couple more months, right. you need to always buy the greatest and, and best. Because you got a, you got a five-year window on that device I, after I, that. I never, so, because I got the 13, 
I looked at, I, I did a side by side comparison of what the 14 was bringing to the table. It just wasn't enough. You know, for me, it was at the time. I think I went from, I, I think I went from 11. Well, that's different. Yeah, I went you, from 11, again, you yeah. squit, you, you jumped over, you know, you there jumped was over no, 12 and 13, but 14. There was not was, a major, and I, I think that was but all. Thir- the, but you go from 13 to 14, mm, it just it was, wasn't enough there. That development for me. time, COVID development time, yeah. you know, I think they just did not have enough, you know, ingenuity going into it, mm. and um, they just didn't have enough resources, and they didn't have product to be able to you know chips that was the biggest thing is yeah, shortage i knew that going and buying a 14 i'm going to get some of the same crap from the 13 so i just i'm like ah you know to go up to go up to potentially 8k for video is is just dumb yeah and it just just wasn't well, i just did not was not enough you know and i'm hoping that the 15 is going to come up with some way better uh images for the for the uh, for yeah, the phone, uh, and for I the, will uh, say camera. I will I will say that um, they the fourteens release was pretty big. They did oh, yeah. they, they they had some really strong sales at the beginning. Yep. So don't don't listen to this. You know, of course. Well, it's not just that. It's not, it wasn't just that article. I have talked to a ton of people that were dude. They were avid iPhone people. Yeah. And then next thing I know, they're like, "Oh, dude, I went to I went to uh, the Google and I went to the new Samsung." I'm like, "Why?" He goes, "The cameras are massively better." Mm-hmm. I'm like, "No, they're not." And, and, and then I, my sister literally took a picture of this bird that was 60 feet away. I took a picture of the exact same bird, blew mine up and blew hers up. Hers was perfect. Mine was crap. They're talking about some new tech camera technology on the new iPhone that that's, is supposed to be awesome. That's what I'm hoping. And I think it's going to be a, a, it's not a digital zoom, a mechanical zoom that's supposed to be really, really mm-hmm. strong. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, if there's a lot of leeway on that camera. At first on the 14, they had some camera jittery. They issues. had a lot of problems with it. So, and I think maybe they were just using older technology and rewriting the software and trying to. I, that's kind of what I was Trying to use AI to process the picture mm-hmm. and make it look better, but. You can only do so much. If if the image is not there, the image is not there. Right. So, are you an influencer? If you're an influencer on Instagram, that's kind of getting ready to go away. Here's the problem of being an influencer. (laughs) Once you're an influencer and everybody else becomes an influencer, there's no such thing as an influencer. You know, another thing that's a big problem with being an influencer is you're not an influencer on your own platform. No. You are an influencer on somebody else's platform. platform. And when they cha- make changes, you can disappear just as quickly as that platform yep. started. And again, that that's, that happens for TikTok. That happens for Instagram. That happens Facebook. for Facebook. If you spent all your time marketing in that one place, mm-hmm. okay, and say, oh, I'm making millions. Well, right. of course you are. But if that company makes a change, and they will make a change right. because that's what they're in the business for. The stuff goes away. Look, look what happened. You know, you, you everything. For instance, Facebook, Meta, same right, thing, Meta. They, the same company, Muda. Okay, it was always about you know making videos or marketing your business on there. Okay, you, you it's so difficult to market your business now. Now you you market uh, you post a video a video. The video doesn't get as much reach because they are trying to drive traffic to these things called reels. They're trying to be the TikTok of of Facebook. Well, so here's the thing, and I, and I've said this, I've said this for years. Uh, well, actually, for the last five years, when Facebook first first came out, you know, all all of us old people, and I'm old, right, said, "Oh, this is MySpace all over again." Right, and we're all like, oh, we're all predicting, well. Okay, right now there's not a lot of ads and not a lot of crap and blah blah blah, but it's going to get there. And sure enough, you know, you we all worked hard to get our followers and our friends built up, right? And then once Zuckerberg was smart, he sat back and waited for you to do all the hard work. And then once you did all the work, now it's like, oh, now for you to get to your just your friends and just your followers yep. is going to start costing you more to the point where it went i mean the beginning it was like 50 percent, and then it went to 70 uh, or uh, 40 percent, and then mm-hmm. it went to 30 percent. and 20 now it's less than five percent yep to get and oh but if you want to get to them oh but you can pay to get to them 
Exactly. And I'm like, that's crap. I mean, look, a, a blue check mark on Twitter is going to cost you money. They have blue so check I marks have, on I, I have a blue check mark, and I'm not paying for it. I'm just telling you. Oh, what'd you do, John? I didn't. Oh, your media. Your no, media. Well, I no, no, no. I don't know what I did because I didn't have it. Didn't have it until about two, three months ago. All of a sudden, it showed up, John. And I'm not paying for it because they have no credit card does information. You, does it make you feel blue? No, no. It makes me feel <laughs> weird because if you click on it, oh, it's just paid, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm not paying a dime for it. Oh, wow. I wouldn't pay for that crap. I, I don't care. Social media to me is something that we use because it's a necessary evil. But I don't. I. I. Whether you go to my website. Mm -hmm. that's where you're going to find my stuff, right? Um, but, you know, since since the influencing side is, is dwindling away because everybody and their brother's an influencer now, right? right? Um, I've, I still look at Facebook and I still post on there. Um, I'm, I'm still stronger on the TikTok side. Yeah. And I don't even, I don't even, we don't even post that much stuff to TikTok. I've got to talk to my editor about starting to cut these shows up so I can start putting stuff on there. Oh, that'd be an awesome. It, it, it is. Because the algorithm is still working for you on TikTok right now. Yeah. It's going to change. It, everything changed. Everybody gets greedy. Everybody wants, you know, at least companies all want their money, you know. Um, and if you're making money off of them, well, they they want they want to make it where they want to make money off of and you. And and and, and, and I they, get that. That's business one hundred and one. Right. And they're software know? companies. They're, they they want to take that integration yep. and they want to they want to change it because they watch interactions. And if the interactions are not there and something's happening, they got to make their shareholders happy. You know, mm -hmm. and they're going to be like, "Oh, we're we're down on interactions this month. Let's change it up. Let's add reels <laughs> or something like that." You know, and yep. that's what they they think people are going for. But that still, but to get people to see your reels, you still have got to boost to get more people to see the reels. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to be like TikTok, do it like TikTok and just open it up right now. Yeah. I understand if you're going to put an image up on your Facebook page or your business Facebook page and you want people to, you're going to, you want to boost to get that scene, that's fine. But if you're going to go copy, the only reason TikTok works is because we're not being tied down by algorithms right now. Exactly. So it literally, and, and they help you. Oh, they help you find so, what you are. Well, no, I mean, when you put stuff, when you put your stuff up on TikTok, TikTok knows the, the type of demographic you're trying to reach. Yeah. And it will send your video to those people. You don't have to, you don't have to pay to go to them. Right. They go, oh, hey, Bob over here in Cal Carolinas is looking for exactly what you put up. Let me go show it to Bob. And mm -hmm. then next thing you know, Bob is starting to follow you. Right. Right. Um, so it's 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 still working in your favor. It's, it's a different right take. now, and, and it's, it's, it's a different it is. take on it. Well, it's what Facebook used to be. Yeah. It's what Twitter used to be. It's what Instagram used to be. You know, TikTok, but just right now. So, but eventually, you know, TikTok you know, these, is going to go. Oh well, okay. Well, now it's time to start charging you for all these people that we're sending you to. Yeah, right. mm. See, people that these the social media companies get it don't get it that they think that we really need them, but it's the other way around. And when they start getting to the point where yep. they start wanting to charge to get their services. That's why I'm completely back. I put stuff up on Facebook because it's expected. And then that's as far as I go. I don't boost anymore. I'm yeah. not going to pay for, I'm just not. No, because it's, it's one small platform yep. in the ocean of platforms, yep. you know, and then yep. we're talking, we're talking about virtual. You're talking about, you know, real life right you know there's so much there's so many ways to advertise right. that i will tell you john a company could go broke just in the advertising yep world. so we you know so <laughs> we we jumped on the rumble bandwagon not because we're we lean that way i'm more of an independent i'm not a republican and i'm not a democrat now sometimes i like what the republicans saying sometimes i like what the democrats say but here lately, I'm really leaning. I'm leaning more right than I am left. Um, actually, we're getting ready to start a new podcast called "Somewhere in the Middle." Um, cool. A little bit right, a little bit wrong. So you know, we start everything in the middle and we figure out where it's going to go by the end of the show. But um, I don't know. I, we started on Rumble, and Rumble was like, "Oh, this is great." But when they started charging me to stream to it, I'm like, "I'm out." Yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, you're looking for you. First of all, you need my content, right? How are you gonna How are you gonna run ads if you don't have my content, right? So it, I don't mind putting the park videos, up, but we're more about the live stream than we are the park videos. So 
but to charge me to live stream to when, when everybody else in the world is free to, yeah, yeah it's not going to happen. I understand it's a small company. I get it, you know, but, you know, it is what it is. Well, we're down to a minute and 49 seconds. We're just not even going to go to this last one because it was just talking about how Bard can do math. Woo! Yay! Well, I could computer we could, that's good at math. Well, it better be good at math. That's a computer. We could go real quick to uh, Mercedes. Well, let's talk about Mercedes in real, real quick. quick. Real quick, Mercedes. I, I don't know. This is, I really don't I know what this think, is about. Think about this. So basically, uh, Tesla has their self-driving feature. That's correct. Okay, and we hear about in the news that it, you know a lot of problems keep happening. Yep. Well, Mercedes just beat Tesla in being able to use their automated software on streets in um, California legally. Oh really? Yes. So their their driving te- self driving technology um, even allows the driver to be able to take their eyes off the road and and California said it's okay. It's that safe. Wow. And, and That's but big for California. Eh? And and but they're saying that it can only be used f as long as it's from forty miles an hour and under. Right. So the self driving well, features. So I don't know if you saw today in the news, uh, Florida just signed a, uh, a, a thing with uh, there's a company coming here that's going to build a test track over in near uh, in mid Florida, no, ah. over in Lakeland or somewhere like that. And it's literally going to be like a 200 acre facility where they're going to test these vehicles in all situations. They're going to build streets. They're going to build towns. And everything needs to be autonomous because I want to see this this happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like a big <laughs> So anyway, so hey, thanks for watching today. We appreciate it. If you know, uh, if if you got something you want us to talk yeah, about, send it to us. Technology news. Um, te- oh, especially technology, technology news. Technology news. We love that kind of stuff. Any so questions in, uh, in, in the world of email technology? Email us or, or reach out on Facebook. So we'll see everybody next week on Tech Shamans. Have a good techie week. See you. Bye.